Algebra 2 CRAM, New York State Algebra 2 Regents, Common Core, Basic Graph of the Sine Function. Y is equivalent to A times the sine of B times X plus C plus D. Concept number four, C, phase shift. Now, the odds of someone doing exactly what you tell them to do is pretty slim. But I guarantee that if you cram with me, you'll become an Algebra 2 master. What we're doing here is so effective. I'm coaching you to turn your wants and desires of getting an A or perfect test scores into a new paradigm. I want to include everyone who needs a boost in Algebra 2, okay? If I could stick every math student with a syringe containing a healthy dose of eye-opening awareness of their inner mathematical genius, I probably would. You have lots of peers and classmates and colleagues who could really benefit from this cram session. So inbox me at memedicine at gmail.com to order this complete session and be sure to tell all your friends to inbox me at memedicine at gmail.com as well. You'll want to be sure to spread the word to them because they'll make great study buddies once you and that they um, have the same knowledge, okay? And the concept of cramming often has a negative connotation, but what people are actually thinking of is hurrying, which is a result of fear and is consequently destructive. We're not hurrying here, okay? We're cramming. There's a difference. Hurrying is jam-packing tons of unorganized information into your mental, spiritual DNA over a tiny amount of elapsed time, whereas cramming is taking quantum leaps in your understanding in an organized way in what seems to have been instant. Okay, so let's delve into the concept of phase shifting as it relates to the sine trigonometric function. Transformations of trigonometric graphs. This is the general graph of y equals a the sine of b times x plus c plus d. Define the variable c. Definitely press pause if you need to and I'll give you a moment to think. All right, so c is defined as the phase shift and it's how far the beginning of the cycle has been translated horizontally, okay? So we see that this cycle has been translated by this much distance. So when C um, is equivalent to zero, the cycle begins at X equals zero, which is right here. A positive value of C, which is what we have here, represents a translation to the left. Don't get it, don't assume that it's to the right, okay? And a negative value of C represents a translation um, to the right. So again, the sign of C indicates the direction of horizontal translation. And this transformation concept also applies to the cosine function. Now, as you can see, intellectual comprehension of this material was not difficult at all. So after sh the short amount of time it takes to complete the entire cram session, you'll be able to answer a battery of questions about Algebra 2 concepts. So inbox me at memedicine at gmail.com to order this complete cram session. Thanks for tuning in.